Okay, wait. Gotta wait till the next episode comes out. What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> no, I'm serious. What did I just watch? One of the best new shonen manga and anime to come out in a while. That's shonen? Yep. I have a lot of questions in mind. But <laughs> fucking hell, that's funny as hell. That, it, that, that's just funny. One believes in science, aliens, essentially, and the other one believes in um, ghosts. That's, that's not... what got me interested. Just one believes in ghosts, the other believes in aliens. Turns out they're both right. I'm like, oh, this could be interesting. And then I read it, and I was like, what the fuck am I reading? And then it... I'm not that far in, but it's actually pretty good. Dude, I, I don't get don't get it wrong. I'm hooked all the same, but <laughs> wait a fucking minute. I need to think. I need I need to really think. What the hell? Okay, so it took me a bit to analyze this because my golly, I genuinely had to rewatch it a few times to get a grasp of what I'm watching. Cause for once, I am not in the know for this, and <laughs> uh, I can't say I was uh, prepared for most of the shenanigans that uh, happened in this first episode. Oh, so, anyway, of course, we have our main protagonist, Momo Ayase, which, I mean, she is, she is quite the protagonist, I gotta give her that. Start off immediately, obviously annoyed with this jackass. And going for not only a kick, but getting kick, and then insulting with uh, sea food? Question mark. I don't know. It it, it was genuinely funny, and <laughs> her friends are honestly just a little bit funny in the sense of just saying, "Why did you even bother with him?" And it's like, oh, because he reminded her of a character named Ken Takakuro. Ken Takakura. There we go, I got it right. Yeah, Ten Kakakura, which, I mean, that is funny considering what happens at the end of the episode. But yeah, she has she has a specific type. A specific protagonist-like type that we eventually meet. But then we have our other main character. And here's the gimmick about the this little series, at least from what I've seen. The two believe in separate things momo ayase believes in the supernatural and then her friend that she accidentally befriends because she defended him while everyone's like picking on him so her basically standing up for him even though she herself is having like one of the most shittiest days considering her relationship had imploded right off the get-go of this episode yeah it's actually pretty cool and then we have the two of them, like, he thought, oh, you probably helped me because you're also into what this guy's gimmick is. Sci-fi stuff, the aliens and all this and that. And then she is annoyed at him. She apologizes. And then they start arguing. <laughs> like, like how true friends usually argue with each other over the stupidest things. And yeah, so girl believes in the supernatural, but not in aliens. Guy believes in aliens, but not in the supernatural. So they each dare the other to essentially prove that they are, like, they are right. In the sense of, Guy is sent to Haunted Cave in order to get proven that uh, the supernatural exists. Girl is sent to a building that is known for alien abduction to prove that aliens exist. And I find that baffling to prove to her that aliens exist. Should have clarified that. Um, and it's kind of baffling because it's like, you, if you do realize if either one is right, you just fucked over the other one. But because they're obviously doing it alone. But not the point. The point is, is that they are both proven right. We have this crazy ass granny that completely caught me off guard. Uh, wanting his... Dongle, I think we'll, we'll use that term. And 
I mean, I would have do the same. I would fucking bolt it. I wouldn't hesitate to bolt it. Um, and then we have a girl get caught by these three weird ass looking fuckers, which are aliens, but fucking hell. Then there's the next scene with her that, um, under purposes of YouTube, I shouldn't show the footage because I don't want to get YouTube's hammer of getting my video strike down in uh, my directional. But uh, all I'll say is this, she has the sheer will to try to fight it. And then we have obviously boy is cursed, turns into an interesting creature, I would say, basically into granny mode, sort of. And like <laughs> sends one of the aliens off flying was funny. Girl basically had talked about her backstory about how her grandma had essentially made her do some weird ritual kind of thing. And that because uh, her crush at the time was laughing at her as well as everyone else, that got her mad at her grandma and that kind of caused their relationship to implode but she also hated people for laughing at something that is from her grandma like they, it, we get to see the motivation and the backstory of why she believes in the supernatural and it's pretty heartwarming actually as well as the fact that this all ties into her suddenly unlocking an ability because of her grandma and i think so that assisted in her escaping per se, or at least avoiding being, well, completely psychologically uh, manipulated by these guys or whatever the hell they were doing. And obviously we have our poor dude. He has it the worst in the sense that uh, now he's cursed. He calls and he basically is the reason she isn't, well, dead. And one thing I will say, <laughs> is that we get his backstory too, how everyone made fun of him about aliens and he's been constantly trying to contact them because he believes in them so much so that everything else doesn't matter. And then they literally are like, yeah, we're not being friends with you. Like a rejection. <laughs> that I feel bad for him. We get the motivation, the backstory all in one episode. And I can't help but laugh because Man, we got all of the bigger essential stuff knocked out in the very first episode. And then, yeah, they, they managed to escape um, her ability. I'm trying to think how to explain it, because even I don't know as an anime only. Let's think of it this way. Her, ch her chi or her ability well, is able to calm him down. So basically negate the curse, not permanently get rid of it, but negate it. And then obviously the, the haunted grandma is pissed and uh, basically calls her a bitch and then leaves. Dips off and says, if you want to settle the score and if you want the guy to be free, you got to face me in the cave. So, you know. And yeah, after that, they escape the UFO and they basically have a nice uh, discussion on the matter of things. And then once it's revealed that his name is Ken Takakura. It, it, it honestly is super fucking funny because she wants to be with a Ken Takakura. And well, here we go. Uh, Ken Takakura, who is an awkward guy like the guys. She has a type of silent, awkward protagonist. And look at that, he may not be silent, but he definitely is the awkward part, so, you know, uh, win is a win. Um, doesn't matter. Uh, literally, the ship exploding as her, like, mind explodes at this revelation is poetic. And <laughs> that's how the episode ends, just on a essential minefield for her. And I can't help but laugh. Like, look, I don't know what I just watched. I don't know what I'm getting into. You can thank Lone Star Joker for this. But yeah, I, I might continue it. Like I wasn't expecting a whole new anime, a whole new series. Cause normally I'm at least somewhat aware of what's going on, but for once I am genuinely out of the loop. And before I forget a 10 out of 10 banger, there's no fucking way that it wasn't a 10 out of 10. This was all over the fucking place and I fucking love it.